Hi and welcome to this quick little demo on how to use the map renamer tool that you can download at mari.gsgale.com. The map renamer tool is very useful uh, for converting files between the different texture name conventions such as UDIM, Formari, um, ZBrush, Mapbox, etc. So you can download it at Ideascale just by typing in map renamer. And if you're on Windows, you will need to install Perl because it's a Perl script and Perl unfortunately is not native to Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, don't worry about it. Um, you can download it at Active State, but the link is included in the PDF file uh, that is uh, in the zip that you download. And you just extract the map rename of file to a folder of your choice. And after you install Perl, you open a command prompt. So you just type in command, double M, and you go to your folder where your files are located. In my case, this is a temp file. So you can see I've got a bunch of Mari UDIMs in here. So now I'm just going to type in Perl to activate the uh, Perl script language. Then give it the path to where I extracted the map rename file to. In my case, this is D textures map rename slash file is map rename and now I'm going to give it the input convention which is in my case Mari and the target convention which is in my case Mudbox. So you can type in Mudbox or MB or ZB for ZBrush or ZBrush you know all that works. So Mari, Mudbox and I don't want the files to be just renamed. I want them to be copied and then renamed. So I'm going to do minus C. I'm just going to preview this by doing a minus P. And you can see I'm getting the renaming. Um, another way you can do is you can rename the file. So you can do minus double N and then say color. And if I'm going to do preview again, I'm getting them renamed to color. Um, one thing, if you're doing color underscore test, you will see I lost the underscore. That is because by default the underscores will be stripped out because Mudbox doesn't like them very much. Uh, if you want to force it to keep the underscores, you just add a minus u. And now we have the underscores back in. And if I'm just gonna get rid of the minus p, now I have a Mapbox sub folder with the rename files in there. And that's already it. Hope you like it and enjoy. 